Alright, so, I'm going to be doing another comic review, and this is another book that was sent to me by my good friend Chris. Chris, thank you once again for the indie book haul. And today we're going to be talking about Lonesome Days, Savage Nights. This is another uh, indie book from uh, TKO Studios. I had just reviewed, the last one I did of them was Sentient by Jeff Lemire, and that book was awesome. So TKO Studios might be a stu might be a comic group I might keep my eyes on. They've done, they have other books that really interests me, like one called Black Mass Rising, which is dealing with the aftermath of the Romanian village that was being terrorized by Dracula, and it deals with the aftermath uh, after Dracula's death. Or was he dead? So that's one um, I really want to read. Another is uh, by Garth Ennis called Sasha, or Sarah. It's, a, it's, some, it's a woman's name. Um, about a Russian sniper in uh, World War II. That looked really cool. Even though I'm not the biggest Garth Ennis fan, um, that does interest that comic does interest me. And there's a few other books uh, from TKO Studios that um, really caught my interest. Again, TKO Studios might be a comic, uh, an indie comic group I might keep my eye on for a while. Anyway, so what is Lonesome Days Savage Nights? Lonesome Days Savage Nights is a werewolf noir story written by uh, S uh, Steve Nile and uh, Salvatore Simone with Sizemore Kurdansky on artwork. Now, I'm going to be, this is volume two, and I'm going to be basically talking about volumes one and two together. I don't know if volume three has come out yet. I don't even know if they have a third volume. But yeah, Steve Nile is a horror writer who most of you guys would know best as the writer, as the creator of 30 Days of Night. Um, Steve Nile is also been known as a comic writer. He's done Batman. He's done uh, other books. He's done a lot of horror books. When you think horror writers in comics, Steve Nile usually comes up. And Nile for me is really hit and miss. Like he is a very um, he has good writing and he has uh, books that are just like I fuck was that. Like that's how like he's not like a go to writer I I like. Like yes, Thirty Days of Night, great vampire comics. Um, but there are other horror books he's done where I was like, I was reading and I was like, fuck is this? <laughs> anyway, so what is this story about? This story centers around a private detective um, known as Stu Manning, who is cursed by, be uh, by a werewolf. He is, he, during his time as like a rookie beat cop, he was attacked by a werewolf and the, um, Resulting, the result was the cops laughed him out of the office and he was fired. He became a private detective, but his lycanthropy happened soon after, leading to his own wife, Audrey, helping him calm himself and tame the beast. Well, sadly, Audrey is, sa is sadly killed by a gang uh, by the law order of a crime of a crime group led by a mafia boss. Not on purpose. She was just kind of caught in the crossfire. But yeah, this is just basically the crow with a werewolf. That's literally what this is. The crow with a werewolf. Um, the werewolf itself, the, I really like the werewolf design in here. It's very reminiscent. It's like a more updated version of the Wolfman, uh, for Lon, Chaney's, Lon Chaney Jr.'s Wolfman design. Um, it does, like, does kind of almost remind me of the 2010 remake of uh, the Wolfman. But yeah... Um, Stu Manning is this, uh, he's just now hunting these gang members, and it's more of it, like I said, a werewolf noir story. It's a bloody, violent comic. Um, it's a story that has a lot of, like, dark ink to it. It's a, it's a very, like, dark, it feels like a darkly lit story. No, a lot of, um, blacks and purples and, and, uh, gray. Those are the three primary colors of this is gray, purple and black very interesting color uh, like uh, color set but I think it gets the job done the comic is brutal I don't want to show anything from the book partly not to spoil anything but also because if I show anything I feel like I might you know I might get in trouble for it but yeah the comic is a brutal blood uh, bloody just carnage candy fest the werewolf itself is interesting in that Stu does have control over it and he can switch it on and on and out at night. At night, uh, but the thing of it is, is that every time he does, there's no like going. Uh, like every time he does, there's always a chance that like, oh shit, if I, like I might co not come back if um, like the next change might not uh, might be permanent. 
Um, the other characters are range from in volume one. It's a lot of gang um, crime lords. That's really it's one big mafia boss and, a boss and uh, some gang members, but that's really it. In the second volume, it's a tech company that Stu does battle with alongside some other characters, um, a other detective who he knew on the force, and a young girl named Stacy and her son. And that's really the group. Like, uh, and they really do take the uh, detective angle pretty well. Like uh, Stu using the werewolf side of him to like get clues, figure out like a crime scene. It's really cool. But also, it's a lot of fun to see uh, just a werewolf go balls out and just fucking slaughter um, <laughs> some f sons of bitches here and there. Um, oh, shit. <laughs> so professional on this channel, I tell you, folks. Um, the comic is um, pretty brutal, and I will say that some of the writing is kind of like, uh, like, at least in the first volume, it feels very like grim dark very like edgelord kind of writing and niles is known for like like niles has this thing where it's very like grim dark edgelord kind of writing in the second volume he's not involved at all in fact it's just salvatore simone who uh takes over fully on writing and the right you can clearly see the writing um does change while it still has that noir feel the edgelord stuff is uh lightened up just a wee bit all in all, it's a decent... Uh, both volumes are pretty decent. I think I like volume one just a little bit more. Like I said, it's just... This is just the crow with a werewolf instead. So, there you go. <laughs> so, once again, I'd like to thank my good friend Chris for sending me this comic. And, yeah, I highly recommend Lonesome Days Savage Nights. The full name is Lonesome Days Savage Nights, The Manning Files. But I'm not saying all of that. It's too That is too long a title, if you ask me. But if you have read this book, comment below, let me know what you guys thought of it. Other than that, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time, the Multiverse.